two GCSEs, you've got your triple science and you've got your combined science trilogy. Triple science at the end of year 11, you're going to come out with three whole GCSEs. Trilogy, you're going to come out with two GCSEs. Whichever qualification you're doing, you will still study all three sciences. You've got your biology, your chemistry and your physics in there. And regardless of which pathway you take, at the end of year 11, you are still going to have six examinations to sit for your science. If you do triple science, then you, those exams are going to be a little bit longer. Biology contains seven units. Oh, you caught me reading about science. Things like cell biology, infection, bioenergetics, which is for the senses, inheritance, homeostasis and response, variation and evolution, and then lastly, my favourite, which is the ecology. Chemistry contains 10 units. Atomic structure in the periodic table. The periodic table especially. Love the periodic table. Atomic structure. Bonding. Quantitative chemistry and energy changes. Organisation. Particle model of matter. Chemistry of the atmosphere and lastly, museum resources. Physics contains seven units. Energy, electricity. Particle model of matter. Waves. Forces. Magnetism. Electromagnetism. Pupils taking triple science will have extra content of subtopics to learn within each unit. This is why they have four extra lessons per fortnight and 30 minutes per exam paper. The exam question style has changed. Instead of mainly being recall, students must now apply knowledge and understanding to topics in a range of contexts. So, for example, rather than learning about a specific lung disease, we will teach you about the lungs. The examiners could ask you about any disease one you've never seen before, and you have to use what you know about the lungs to answer that question. To support with this, we have already started and will continue to complete a range of required practicals so that all students are practised with the necessary skills that allow them to understand the questions and therefore access the higher marks. In addition, a big change has been the increase in math skills throughout the whole science specification. For example, in biology, 15% of the overall mark is now dedicated to math skills. Last year, Year 11's results reflected the hard work put in from all the staff and students. As well as after school revision sessions, students were invited to come along to revision sessions, including Saturdays, Super Saturdays. They were also had school holiday revision sessions as well as after school. We facilitated small intervention revision groups and we held breakfast revision clubs. We provided some one-sheet wonders for pupils, also known as our door tasks. And before each science exam, we gave our final top tips. Our intention this year is to offer all of this and more because we know it has the impact and appreciate your support in encouraging your child to achieve and take part. If you haven't already done so, add in Kenton School on Facebook, please add us now. We will be updating a lot of revision top tips on the website.